to buy a car in Japan, the very first thing that you have to do is prove that you have uh, a place to park it. And parking is not necessarily going to be near your home, it's not necessarily going to be convenient, and it's certainly not going to be cheap. So before you can buy a car, you must be able to prove to the people that you have a spot to park it. And this is quite inconvenient and it contributes to the high number of cyclists in Tokyo. Parking spaces are obtained privately and the uh, owners of the parking spaces receive forms and official documents from the local council. And when they rent you a parking space, they have to produce this form, sign it. Uh, they have to take it to the local council and have it approved by the local council. And then you take it to the parking The majority of people in Tokyo don't own the park because the public transport system is so Today, the majority of people that I know who own cars, they park them all week, use them on the weekend, maybe once or twice. Most of the long weekend trips, we rarely do a single car that got to the or going to the doctor or anything like that. You have to have these things done quite frequently. And with a new car, the new things are done maybe once every year or every year. But as your car ages, the tests become much more frequent. And you have to pay for those tests yourself. So it becomes more and more of a burden to own an old car. So it's to have your car are buying these rich European cars. Japan's going through a recession at the moment, so a lot of people are finding it very difficult to make ends meet. So the first thing that they will drop, one of the biggest expenses is the car.